All right, guys, so we're going to go over the recent code forces problem. This is the division 2A problem. So you're given the values A, B, C, D. And the condition, basically, of the problem is just that um, the problem is really, really boils down to this. Let me just write these, write it down. So the problem just boils down to this, which is the does there exist a condition given A, B, C, D where both of these are true? right the um all the values of xi which is just like uh, any of the any value you choose from is between we know that's between a minus b and a plus b so d are, does there exist values such that both of these statements are true okay so pretty much uh given like given a b c d so to do this it's actually not that hard first of all let's let's just rewrite this summation of n from i equals one to n of xi and we know xi is constant. It's like a regular constant because like we know we're given this, right? We're given this xi. Uh, it's like any any constant that you have, you're just multiplying it. So so let's let's formulate what this xi is. So if um, from your math equations, you know that if xi is a constant, we know that we could pretty much just take the xi out and just multiply n times xi, right? Because this is just summing up one to n of xi every single time so then we could just multiply one to, uh n by xi right this summation that's what it that's what the summation is so now that we have this summation let's just factor out the equation of this so in let's think about this pretty much in what scenario can both of these statements not be true right what scenario can both of these statements not be true right so we, we know that a b c d are integers right and we need to make sure that uh, both of these statements are true, right? So, and xi is just like a, any any value, uh, any index of each grain, right? Any grain. So, uh, pretty much the only way this condition could be false, both of these could be false, is if a minus b, summation of a minus b, is actually greater than the upper bound that is possible, or the upper bound of a plus b is actually less than the lower bound of c minus d right so let's just sum that up let's let's calculate the upper and lower bound of a minus b and a plus b so let's do summation of i equal one to n of a minus b so this is the lower bound if we find the lower bound it's just n times a minus b and then if we find the summation of the upper bound it's just equal to n times a plus b Right, so we know the now we know the equations of n and uh, a, both of the upper, the lower bound and the upper bound. So this is lower and upper bound. So after we know we know the equations of both of these, all we have to do is just check if the this equation doesn't satisfy uh, the, the, this this equation. So the cases where it's not possible is if the lower bound is greater than the upper bound, right? A lower bound of xi is greater than the upper bound, the summation of xi of c plus d. So that'll just be if if uh, n times a minus b is greater than the upper bound of c plus d. So that's not possible. Or the upper bound, uh, the upper bound of xi is smaller than c minus d. And what's the upper bound of x uh, a plus b? That's n times a, a plus b, right? Upper bound of xi. And that's n times a plus b is uh, less than the lower bound of c minus d. So yeah, so if any of these conditions are true, then that, both of these conditions are true, that means it's not possible. It's either this is not true or this is not true, then it's not possible. Otherwise, it's possible, right? That They're in the right ranges. Right, so uh, yeah, that's pretty much how you do this problem. This problem just boils down where, whether uh, your values are in the right ranges, okay? You're just checking if the boundaries are in between it or not. So that's the that's what this problem problem boils down to. Okay, um, yeah, I'll just show you the code right now. Okay, so this is the code. Um, we'll read in N and then A, B, C, D. So if A minus B times N is greater than C plus D, Remember that's checking that condition that was not possible. Then, or a plus b times n is less than c minus d. Then we see out no. Otherwise, we print out yes. Yeah, 
And the, this is my integer for t, which is the number of test cases, while t minus minus. So I'll, I'll just read in n, a, b, c, d, okay? So yeah, that's all that you need to know for this problem. Uh, it was just checking if the bounds are possible for the summation, where x, i is like any number between a plus b, a minus b and b and a plus b. So during, if the if it's in the right range, then, uh, if, if it's not in the right range, then you print out no. Uh, if it is in the right range, yeah, you just print out yes. So yeah, that's all you have to do. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. I haven't been uploading a lot lately because of school, but I'll try to get. I'll try to upload every week, every Friday. So come back next Friday. All right, guys. So yeah, uh, I'll just see you guys later. Peace.